Hello YouTube. Thank you for watching our channel. So today we're going to weld with the Sanrex 160S. We're going to do a little stick welding. I've been excited all week to try this out. Uh, again, this machine has power factor correction built into it. Comes with the uh, stick electrode holder and uh, ground clamp. Runs off of 110, 220. Includes the uh, adapter cable to go from 110 to 220. And we're going to run it first on 220. Then we're going to switch over and run it on 110. I have an assortment of some pretty wet electrodes. Um, we're going to run 1 8 7018. We're going to run 5 30 seconds 7018. And we're also going to see how it does with 60 tens. So let's have a look and see how it does. First thing I want to do is turn the machine on. I'm going to set my amperage uh, where I like it for a 1 8 7018, which is around 90 amps. Now I'll make sure we're on stick mode. Grab my electrode holder and let's see if we can make a short weld. Again, on 220 volt plug in. Very smooth start, thanks to the built-in hot start. Very smooth art. Now let's step up to a 530 seconds. This is a 16 inch long electrode, 530 second diameter, E7018. All I can say is, wow, we're running a 532nd, 7018, we have a lot of dig. In fact, I could probably turn my amperage down a little bit. This machine runs hot. This is a hot running machine. This is sweet. I'm going to start that 532nd up again. That is very, very impressive. 160 amp machine. Light enough to be able to pick up with one hand. Running a 530 seconds electric. Amazing. So now we're going to try welding a 1818 on a 110 volt. I've done something a little different here. I've got two extension cords 
totaling 100 feet. So I know some machines won't do that, especially the smaller inverter machines. So we're going to give this one a fair shake at trying to show up some of the other machines on the market. Again, we're on 110. I'm going to use the inner numbers to set my amperage width. Again, a 1 8th. I like to run around 90. Let's turn it on. See if we can weld. Oh yes, very well too. For the heck of it. Let's see what we can do maybe on the 530 seconds. 7018. I don't think it'll do it. But let's give it a try. And again, we're on 110 volt. 100 feet of number 12 extension cord. 5.30 seconds, 78.10. And we tripped the breaker, as I thought it would, but it ran a lot longer than I expected it to. Okay, so that's pretty impressive to me. We ran about four inches with a 532 second 7018 on 110 volts with 100 feet of extension cord. Uh, I don't know of another machine that will do that. 220 and 110. Now what do you say let's have some fun? Let's put this little machine to the test and try to run a 6010. Now, a lot of these inverters just will not do it. So let me rig up some 6010 electrode and we'll try this machine out for all it's worth. Okay so this time I have rigged up with some red rod. This is a 1.8 6010. Going to run it a little bit over the um, 7018 pass that we just did. I know that's a little backwards, but didn't plan to do a 6010. But since this machine is running so well, I really want to test it. And again, we're on 110 volts with 100 feet of 12 gauge extension cord. Okay, we pretty much just ran an entire 1 8 red rod 
on 110 volts. 6010 on 110 volts with 100 feet of extension cord. Amazing. Absolutely amazing for this very well priced machine. You cannot go wrong with this. I want to run some more. Most of these inverters, I don't believe, will keep the arc established uh, as you weave, dig, and fill on the 6010 electrode. This one has absolutely no trouble maintaining the arc of the 6010 electrode throughout the weld. Simply amazing. Yes, sir, YouTube, we have us a complete winner in this machine. Okay, so again, 100 feet. Amazing. Today we just dove right into the welding. It's been a good day. It was fun. Uh, we didn't waste a lot of time. We got right into the meat of it. So this machine, the Sanrex 160S stick and TIG machine. Today we did uh, stick welding. We did 220 volt with 7018 up to 530 seconds. And we also ran this machine on 110 volt. We ran 1 8 7018s. We ran 532nd 7018s. We also ran 1 8 6010 red rod stick electrodes on 110 volts with 100 feet of extension cord. That is nothing short of phenomenal. Some of you have experience with these smaller inverter machines, not very impressive. Try to operate them with an extension cord of even 25 feet. And typically the machine trips, it's not the breaker, it's the machine. In this case, the machine never tripped. The breaker tripped with a 530 seconds. We were running it hot. And of course that's requiring a lot of input power. So definitely give this machine an opportunity. Uh, you need this in your arsenal, I would say, especially at its price point where it is right now. If you have any questions, feel free to contact More Weld Professional Services either by phone or on the web. And don't forget to visit our eBay store at BayJam21. And as always, don't forget to click like and subscribe to keep these wonderful Sanrex videos coming. Thank you.